Okay, today in uh, Adobe Photoshop, we're going to learn about how to make a clipping mask. It's fairly simple. Um, we're going to start off with a t-shirt. And you can just grab a t-shirt off Google Images. Like if you type in t-shirt, a million of them will pop up. That's exactly what I did. I went to Google Images, typed in t-shirt. Wow, I got my t-shirt. Now I got my t-shirt open. Um, we want to crop the background. And the reason we want to do that is because our clipping mask is going to take the shape of whatever layer is underneath it. And we want it to take the shape of the t-shirt, not this block around it. There's a couple ways you can crop out uh, a photo from the background. Uh, the more elaborate way, I would say, is the pen tool. That's what I usually do when you just kind of click and trace around it. I have another tutorial telling you how to use a pen tool if you want to check that out. Or you can use the lasso, which is pretty popular amongst people, where you just click, 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 all the way around until you make a pattern. Or not a pattern, but the shape that you're looking for. But since this is a document that has a plain white background, you can clearly see the lights from the dark. So I'm going to actually contrast it a little bit more so it'll be easier to see. Now you can see the lights and the darks separation from the background and the foreground you can just take the uh, magic wand tool it's uh, Apple du or not Apple I'm sorry just W on the key keyboard click on the white part or the background layer and then voila you know you just selected the background now it's as easy as just hitting delete and you got rid of the background for that okay so we got our t-shirt shape going how we want it to go. Now we need to take our design that we've created and mask it onto the shirt to make it look like a design. Okay, so uh, let's put this white underlying layer back just so you can see a little bit better. All right, um, I don't have a t-shirt design to use for this, so I just went on Google and I typed in like a uh, Paisley pattern. I'm gonna copy this and paste it with uh, Apple V into my document or control V if you use a Windows computer and I'm gonna hit Apple T or control V if you use a Windows computer or you can go to edit and then go to free transform now I want to shrink this image down because I mean it's too big I want the detail to be a little bit more smaller so that more patterns can fit onto the shirt so I've already hit Apple T to do my uh, free transform. Now you want to click this chain here to make sure that your layers stay proportionate when you shrink them down. So I'm shrinking it down so it's a decent size that I want to use. You don't want it to be smaller than the t-shirt so I think about maybe like right there is fine. Okay now I got my design on top of the shirt and it's really just as simple as hitting Control alt g or if you're using a Mac, of course, Command-Alt-G or Apple-Alt-G, and there's your mask. Now, it doesn't look quite as legit as I would like it to look for a t-shirt, so, I mean, let's, uh, let's blend it in a little bit. Well, first off, when you click the eye on the clip mask layer or the uppermost layer or layer two, as you can see in this screen, it'll go away so we can see what we're working with underneath. We didn't delete it. We just hit, made it hidden for temporary. Okay, so now we want to take this collar and crop that out because realistically, T-shirts don't have print on the inside of them. So... We're going to take the pen tool or the lasso tool, whatever you like to use to crop out with, and just make like a kind of like a hole for your t-shirt. Now make sure you still have the uh, second, or not the second layer, but layer two selected or the topmost layer, which you're putting your clipping mask onto, because that's the layer you're going to add this mask to. Now when you have the pen tool, you just want to hit right click and then make selection because it doesn't make the selection for you instantly like the lasso tool does and uh, click this eye again to bring back up your layer and then hit this little bitty rectangle in the corner that says add layer mask it's a rectangle with a circle on it you want to click that now when you click that let's zoom back out real quick 
it actually did it inverted of what I wanted to wanted it to do. So I'm gonna just hit Control I or Apple I if you're using a Windows computer or a Mac computer. I mean, and now we have our mask. Now the only other thing that I'm not satisfied with is it, it just still just looks like a Paisley crap. So when you're dealing with t-shirt templates, you got to mess with the layer blend modes to give it that authentic look that you're looking for. You want it to look like it's really printed on the shirt so that people will want to buy it. The, the preview is, is everything with online t-shirts selling. So uh, in this instance, I think I would hit multiply. And you see how it brings out the shadows. It got rid of all that white that was in the original design because of course the white would just be the white of the shirt now now you have your uh your t-shirt now you can either keep messing with it to get the look you desire you know what i mean but in essence that's your t-shirt template made with a uh, clipping mask now if you have any questions if I was going too fast or maybe I skipped over something or maybe you just didn't understand what I was saying or whatever the case may be don't hesitate to leave a comment or a question below in the YouTube comment section and I will definitely answer them to the best of my ability at the earliest of my convenience thank you for watching and um, hopefully check out my other videos, youtube.com slash roshotme, and see what other type of things I do. And I'm out.